Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 17. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our acceleration enrichment feature in our EMU Black software. Now, the acceleration enrichment is going to allow us to characterize the rate of change in our throttle movement as we're driving around. So our main VE table is going to characterize more of our steady state operation. So at idle, cruising, or wide open throttle conditions, our throttle is not going to be moving around a lot. And we'll find that the values within the table can accurately represent the cylinder filling that is going on at any given time. Now, as we start to drive and give it throttle inputs, that's going to be changing that amount of airflow or air mass that's entering the engine. And the main VE table cannot properly characterize that. And that's what the acceleration enrichment is going to be for. It can take all kinds of things into account, the engine RPM, the actual throttle position, and the rate of throttle change, and we can determine what kind of fueling delivery we need to have in order to have proper air fuel or lambda amounts as we're giving it throttle inputs and having good throttle response. I'm going to cover all the different aspects of the acceleration enrichment, so without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with the acceleration enrichment feature within our EMU Black software. Now before we jump into the training tutorial, make sure you have your main tuning page layout open here so you can follow along with what I'm gonna be showing you on the screen. You're gonna be able to find that under desktops up top here, under open desktops template, and then moving down here under main tuning. You wanna select this option here. So again, we have the same thing on your screen as mine, and it's gonna make uh, following along here much easier. So we're gonna move from our setup page and we're gonna go across here into Excel. Excel is gonna be short for acceleration enrichment. So this is gonna be what we focus on in this training tutorial and this is gonna be a very important part of making your engine drive smooth and having crisp throttle response. And we'll learn exactly how to work with all of our tables here to get the desired result. Now let's just go over what we see on the screen and then we'll talk about the general operation of the acceleration enrichment and what it actually means. And then we'll go into these tables here and talk about each individual table of how it actually works and how to program it and things that we need to keep in mind. So looking here on the left side of the screen, we find our live data information. We find our basic parameters, our enrichments. And up top here, the first two parameters, acceleration enrichment, this is how much it's actually applying. And then the TPS rate, this is our rate of change and our throttle movement. This is gonna be playing a role. It's actually going to be our DTPS or the rate of change in our throttle. We can see what this TPS rate is going to be right here. And then finally down in the live data here on the left hand side, this is gonna be all of our fueling calculations that are going on at any given time. We also have a graph log here so we can graph and take a look at what is going on. Then we have a parameter section here. We're gonna to have to program these parameters in order for the acceleration enrichment to function properly. Then we're gonna have our core tables that actually make the acceleration enrichment work. We're gonna have an Excel DTPS rate, Excel TPS factor, Excel RPM factor, and then Excel CT CLT factor, which is going to be coolant temp based. Now we do have some other tables here. We have acceleration ignition. This can allow us to retard or advance ignition as we're having rate of change in our throttle movement. We'll talk about this table and why we might want to implement this. Right now it's zeroed out. We can see a zero in here is going to having no ignition retard or no advance. Normally we want to start off with it zero. We're also going to have our deceleration and leanment table. So these are going to use to actually lean out the fuel mixture when we shut the throttle. So we're actually going to be able to calculate a positive and negative TPS rate. The positive rate is going to be what we look at with our DTPS. The negative rate would start to take a look at our deceleration situation where we're actually coming off the throttle. Now normally I don't use these deceleration and leanment tables because it can create some drivability problems. You can populate them, we'll talk about them very quickly in this video, but the focus of the video here will be on the actual acceleration enrichment. So now that we cover what's on the screen, let's talk about the actual acceleration enrichment and what it is going to represent. So if we jump here, thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.